retail with everything homemade and this is the second um, episode in a series on how to garden. Now today as you can see over here we are going to start planting seeds and again I'm going to teach you how to plant with a variety of children's age groups and how to get them involved. So a couple of housekeeping first. First, a brand new lamb was born, and you will see a picture right now. He is adorable. His name is The Shadow. And the other thing that, that is really, really awesome is spring has sprung. The bush has broke, and, and take a look at this awesome footage. It is mid-April 2020, and you can see that we still got a quite a bit of snow left it is breaking up which means that our dugout here is filling up with snow or that our dugout here is filling up with water this is our garden spot so as we're planting seeds this whole area here is where our garden is and you can see there's still about a foot and a half of snow that's covering but it will totally transform in about seven weeks here. We are getting some really, really nice weather. So what? I'm going to show you something really cool. The forest, or the bush is what we call it, broke overnight. And let me show you what that means. Last night before I went to sleep, this area here had just a trickle stream and overnight what we call the bush let go is suddenly it gets flooded with tons of water for runoff in the spring. So this is part of our cow pasture and take a look at this stream. Take a look at that. So this is running right through our property and into the dugout and this whole area here, this whole bush area here will flood just for a short period of time. And this is our road. The water is actually running onto our road and over to this side here, which is coming underneath the road and flowing into this um, looks like a little bit of a stream right now. So this is just welcoming to hear the gushing of water because we know that spring is officially here in northern Alberta and within a few weeks this will all go down and the bush here will just be to a, just a light trickle of water and start drying up. Back, back to seeds here. Come here. Back to seeds here. We are using the hashtag gardening with Rita. You can join me on Twitter at homemade Rita. You can also connect with me on Facebook. Like you can send me a friend request on my Facebook page, which is just my name, Rita Peterson. You can continue to be with me here and follow me, ask questions, and I am trying desperately to answer all of your questions. There will be a lot of answers as I go through things, so be patient, we're gonna cover a lot of topics. Now, you see that here, I don't have the setup done because I want to really show the beginner gardener how exactly we set up, how exactly we get the kids involved, and so we are going to film from start to finish instead of having everything ready and quickly showing you we are going to just actually show you as we go um, that way you learn with us and you're doing this with us so I think that's really really key especially to the beginner that have so many questions that don't know where to begin and again you guys I am doing this for you I feel like I need to help even more in this time of, of the pandemic where I can't really you know go out there with my 3d with a 3d printer I don't have that and help there but I can definitely help you guys in gardening so Let's dive in. Remember, all the links are going to be in the description box on how to connect with me. 
you will see at the end of every film that I am an author and so my book is out if you would like to purchase it and have an awesome read then go right ahead oh so, let's dive in are you ready you guys yes yeah. and Meadow I don't know she's kind of wandering around the house here but we are going to start so ocean here has got two bowls and we got some tablespoons now when it comes to key with gardening keeping it simple is the key isn't it you guys yes. yes you want the very basic sometimes you know with garden center selling this and that it basically becomes really expensive to garden but it doesn't have to be and i'm going to show you how simple it is because listen you guys does mommy have a greenhouse no 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 does mommy have grow lights no. no no and you'll notice in the past videos i actually teach you guys how to use grow lights but that was when i lived in town in a different house here in this house we do not have that set up i actually have less set up um so i'm going to show you how to garden the old, old, old fashioned way without the grow lights, without a greenhouse, and just really, really, how do you do this very basically with great results? But there is some tricks to it. Does mom have a lot of tricks? Yes. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's start this. So the biggest thing you want to do is get your kids involved. So, great, Nova. Yeah. You are going to start filling the bowls with dirt. Okay. So you can get another scooper, so another small bowl. And we have dirt here. So you can start that, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. So let's take a look at the dirt that, that we're using. <clears throat> this is brand name Sunshine. The bag is a bit upside down. Um, this is just a typical garden mix. Um, this is not a seed starter. I refuse to use seed starters um, for the reason of that there's not all the nutrients in there and I find that plants just start better in just a normal mix with all the nutrients available to them. With seed starters you have to really transplant after they come up because there's not enough nutrients to support the plant but I like simplicity and I am too lazy to transplant, to transplant, to transplant, and then transplant again until I get into the garden. I like to start my seeds, maybe transplant once and then the garden, but I really strive just to literally plant my seeds and then go straight into the garden. It saves money, it saves time, and it saves effort. So Nova, you're gonna start scooping with Meadow here. Okay. She's gonna help you and you're going to start um, filling and look at that we already have a scooper in here that we forgot last year so that's cool so let's just use that okay. so just what we're gonna do is start filling mm -hmm. um, you notice just ignore me just keep yeah. doing what you're doing you notice that the dirt here is dry okay because this is like two or three year old dirt we don't we use a whole bag of this like it takes us a couple years to use a whole bag of dirt so that's a really cost savings when you're only spending you know I don't know how much this costs 20 bucks Canadian or something for this bag it's a huge bag so it, it loses moisture period so what we need to do is she's gonna fill it in fill it up and then one of you older older um, children you guys need to add some water to this so don't oh, sneeze ha 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 okay all right keep filling keep filling so if you got dry dirt no big deal let's just we all you need to do is moisten it so she's gonna fill it there and meadow here is gonna play in the dirt a little bit good job meadow now as she does this um grace i want you to fill up a watering can and you notice something here look at that what is that that is spider web i think that is a spider nest oh my word okay you can tell we only use this from last year right mm -hmm. so i got this from the outside in the garden shed maybe grab a kleenex and renew remove that from mother and take it to and fill it up now she's going to fill this up with water it's going to be just just tap water cold water you don't want to use hot water but in this case it doesn't really matter we're just filling it up with water do not use chlorine water why you guys can somebody tell them will why chlorine kill it kill the seeds yeah oh, ryan do you have any more to add because chlorine's meant to clean bad stuff off and it and it might get inside the seeds and ruin the 
how the seed grows. That's exactly it. So chlorine, just think of chlorine as these bad, bad villains, okay? They will kill your plant or severely stunt your plant. So you want to use water that is not chlorinated. Um, this water we have here is actually well water, but if you're in town, do not use chlorinated water. Yes, Lorraine? Not hot. You could use rainwater. Yeah. That's a very, very good point there, Orion. You could use rainwater too. You could also use snow water. You know, if you are in, in climates here right now, we got runoff like crazy. Grab some of the clean water, the snow water. Look at that. Look at all the snow out the window. That's still melting away. It's getting there, but, but look at the film. We got tons of running water. You can definitely use that water. So get creative. Okay, so Grace is filling the water um, container up. Orion, grab that dirt, exchange it with the other bowl so Ocean, I mean, so Nova can fill that up, please. And let's show you guys how to moisten your dirt. Okay, so bring that over here. Beautifully done. Okay, so Grace, what I want you to do, and Annika, what I want you to do is just kind of break this up. Just break this up a bit. Get all the clumps as much as you can out. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but if it's really clumpy and you put a clump over a delicate seed, like a chamomile seed or a herb seed, um, even a tomato, it's going to be a little bit harder to um, pop through it. So you want it to be as clean as possible. If there's sticks or something in your dirt, this is a time where you want it to be cleaner. Um, you don't want a whole bunch of large objects. These are seeds that a lot of times are delicate seeds. You want to do that. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take this um, watering can and you basically are just going to go over like that. Okay, Grace? So, Ocean, grab a spoon here with um, Annika. These are just normal kitchen spoons, nothing special. You know what, all this can, it's just dirt being touched with them. It's nothing, you know, that can't be washed. So she's putting, gonna put a lot of water in here. It's going to need to be moist. Okay, so stop Grace. So I want you two to start mixing. The other thing um, about, uh, with a little bit of housekeeping, you know when you make a film, you, you always say sometimes to yourself, oh man, I wish I should have said that. Well, when I put on all the seeds on the other film um, about when to start, I missed one plant, and that is dill seed. Dill needs to be sown in the garden directly. Dill, I said herbs to be started eight, seven to eight weeks ahead, which is true, but I should have specified dill seed. You just sow that directly into the garden. Um, you do not want to start that ahead of time. So as you can see, she put a lot, lot of water in here. It is not spongy yet. You see how I can hold it and it kind of holds together, but it really just falls apart. We need more water in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, this will take quite a bit of water, but if we do this now, it'll save us time in the long run here. Do, 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 do. What? Yep. Okay, mix that up. You guys have the other bowl. Start breaking up those lumps. Again, see what Meadow is doing. I don't care if she makes a mess. If there's dirt that gets on the floor, no big deal. Now we'll try to minimize it, but this is fun. Gardening is fun. Remember that you guys, when you are gardening, this is about having fun growing your vegetables and the kids need to understand that it's fun. What about weed pulling, is that fun? No. no. <laughs> but also ends it is when you pretend that it's an army. When it's an army, just make it, yeah, you just make it fun. So you watch, watch Meadow here, she's just basically scooping. So what I like to do is to provide an extra container with some spoons or anything to keep her her busy but involved in what we are doing. And she's kind of helping, isn't she? She's, she's getting some yeah. of the clubs going. Yeah, yeah look yeah. at that. 
Awesome. Okay, so let's check the moisture of this dirt. So again, we're going to do the squeeze test. I'm going to take the dirt, I'm going to squeeze it, and if it holds together half decently, then I've got enough moisture. And, it, and this looks good. We don't want it dripping wet. Now, if you have it dripping wet, that actually is going to do the opposite. Your seeds won't, don't like to be in soggy soil and they can rot. So we don't want that. And this looks a lot better. And take a look, I'm gonna put this other bowl um, against it to show you the difference in color. And you can see that, okay? Look at that. So grab that bowl back. I'm going to give you guys the water in can. Make sure Meadow doesn't grab the watering can though, yeah. Orion. You guys work on moistening that and we're going to start on seeds here and then we're going to continue around the, the table. Okay, so the first set of seeds that we're going to do is corn. Okay, Grace, mm -hmm. can you grab me some of those containers over there? How many? Just a couple. If you can pop them apart there, perfect. So these are just just containers that were food containers at, at one time. Ocean, can you help me out because I'm one-handed here? Um, that, that we just cut off because they were too tall. Like, get, be creative with what you got. If you've got, you know, containers that you're, let's say, strawberry containers that you are buying um, from the food market, you got anything that, that, that you can plant in, I prefer things without holes. If you do have holes um, in your container, you just basically need to put something underneath so it doesn't drip. Now, I kind of, I kind of go a bit of against the grain as lots of people like drainage, but I don't like messes and I don't like to put extra things underneath to catch water. I like to keep it really simple. So I like to just water the plants just enough. And, and I'll show you the, that technique here right away. So what I want you to do, Ocean, is I want you to just kind of clean this up, throw this stuff in the garbage here. Let's have semi-clean containers. These are only used for starters, nothing else. And that way I have them year after year after year. Okay, so what I need you guys to do is fill these containers half full with dirt. So as, as um, they do that, you can just use your hands. There you go. Okay, so simple. Fill it full, half full with dirt, your, your container. Now I'm looking at about an inch deep. Um, inch to inch and a half, I would say. Something like that? Yeah, press down. You want to press it down. Wonderful. More? Yeah, a little bit more there, Grace. A little bit more there, Ocean. Okay. Like that? Yeah, a little bit more. These are corn seeds. So corn seeds are larger seeds. So I want the depth to be a little bit deeper. Yeah, and you can go just a smidget more there. What you want to be even. Yep, yeah, I think you're pretty good there, Grace. You look good there, Ocean. So I want, let's put your, um, before you fill that third one, let's just keep with these two for a second. So place your container here, Ocean, so I can get them kind of in the film together. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to plant some of this corn here. And this is early, gourd, early golden bantam. Okay. Um, and so what we're going to do is, Ocean, open that up. And just, um, you know how we like to get a little, little glass container yeah. for the seeds in? So why don't you grab some of those? Okay. Just one container. So what I'd like to do is take my container any kind of container, whether that's plastic, glass, it doesn't really matter. And and we're going to plant all this corn because the germination test on this corn was about 85-90%, if I remember. So we have fairly good germination. Now with corn, you see how big the seeds are? You see that? They're really big seeds. So the larger the seed, the deeper the seed needs to get planted. So what I like to do with, with corn is all I do is put it in there and I like to do it three. So we are what? 
about two inches apart on our seats. And remember, we are not gonna keep them in here. We're going to um, transplant them out into the garden after. And everything's gonna be step by step. We are going to dive right in depth on how to do everything from separating plants, from transplanting, from the how to control pests as they come, everything. Okay, so that looks good there. Now, this is a bantam corn, means a shorter. So I want a couple trays. So Grace, you wanna move that tray just off to the side for a moment. Let's get that tray planted. Now you could definitely soak your corn seeds the day before, but sometimes I forget and I'm not as organized. It doesn't really matter, it may just take a few extra days, but I'm gonna show you a huge trick hereafter on how to speed up your germination. Basically by a week to week and a half, you guys, where things that would take two weeks to germinate take less than a week. And I'll show you a simple trick with that. That looks good. Okay, Ocean, let's get this container. We're actually gonna get another one. So Ocean, while you do that one, Grace and I are gonna finish this one. So this technique you'll see over and over and over again as we go. Basically, we have our seeds. What we wanna do, because these are bigger seeds, we can use our hand because our, the seeds won't stick to our hand. We are just going to literally press the seeds in and that basically makes the seeds connect to the dirt, okay? Mm -hmm. The next thing we wanna do is spread some more dirt on top. Now we can go about a centimeter. Now, now I'm going from inches to centimeters. So basically we want to go a half an inch of dirt to a max of three quarters of an inch on top because they are larger seeds. They, can, they have more oomph to get through the dirt. So we definitely want more than that. And the key is here to press it down. Uh, I just, just start patting. That's right, just start patting. Yeah, start patting it down. You want the dirt to connect with the seed, especially with bigger seeds. You know, this goes with, with pea seeds when you sow them into the garden. This goes with bean seeds. This goes with melons and zucchini and squash and cucumber, all that. Okay, beautiful. This looks awesome. Okay, so Ocean. I want you to do the exact same thing that you just saw me do. Okay? Now, Orion, I need that watering um, container. Empty. Could you please fill it up with water? My hands are clean. Those aren't. Okay, here. So as, as she's filling that up, I'm gonna tell- Can I go higher? Oh, no glass container there, Meadow. Yeah, a little bit higher. Yeah, you can take a look at that. Okay, the other important thing that I want to talk about is dampening off disease. This is real and it happens a lot in commercial um, mixes. It can also, it's a, I can't remember now, but I'm pretty sure it's a bacteria. But basically, I'm gonna draw you a picture on the board. This, I'm not an artist, you guys, but this will help you understand. Okay, this is your seedling. Okay, we got some here, we got some dirt over here, and we have some, some little roots. Okay, you see that awesome picture? What, what happens is the plant will come up, it'll get its first set of leaves. These are not true leaves. They will never look like its, its, its plant, um, sorry, it will never look like the true leaves. They're called the, the first set of leaves. Then you have no. that, that second set of leaves, which we call the true leaves come out and they will look like the squash plant or the melon or the tomato plant that you are growing. But what dampening off does, and it can devastate and kill your plants within 24 hours. It is so devastating your containers. Right here, where the, where the stem, is connected to the roots, it will just start to shrivel. It'll be like, Ugh, and it'll just start to choke it off. And then what happens is, is that your plant, when you wake up in the morning, will look like this. With its little two leaves there, and will be dead. 
and it will be like cut off. There will be nothing here. It'll just, all your plants will be laying down and it'll be totally cut off. It's like somebody pinched it and squished it and killed it overnight. So that's what dampening off does. And there is a simple way to prevent that. Here, close that marker for mom. Thank you. And the simple method, there's actually two. You can water your plants with chamomile tea a couple of times, or when we do the initial water, I water with thieves. Now this is my homemade thieves. I will put the recipe up on the board. It's basically a few essential oils mixed together that basically stop dampening off in its tracks. And I have seen containers half killed by dampening off and I've quickly put this mixture in and it instantly kills them without killing the plant. So what I do is just water at first with this to make sure everything's good to go. And even if you got sterile soil, it seems that it can come back. I know exactly the ins and outs of dampening off on the, um, on the, you know, the, the bacterial level, but I do know how devastating and how real it is, and this definitely works. So, what I'd like to do is, Grace, mm -hmm. this is about a half a gallon container. I want you to put um, about 10 drops in here. I want you to put 10 drops in here. Okay. Now this is my homemade container. You can buy the thieves if you want to just buy it. Um, you can also make it very easily. I find it more cost effective just to make it. 10 drops. No metal, metal, just wait. Yeah, keep going. And all you do is drop it in. Now if you get one more, one less, it's not the end of the world. This is potent. Remember, this is essential oils. Essential oils are really, really potent. Then what I do is grab a spoon and I just swish the water up. Look at that metal, it's cool, hey? Yeah, water swishing. You wanna try? Good job. Okay, now you got my spoon stuck. <laughs> Good. Here you go. Okay. Wipe my hands on my pants now. Let's look at a watering technique. Pay attention. I'm gonna. Oh, you guys. She's gonna dig into the corn. <laughs> grab, grab, grab her container. Meadow, meadow. You go dig over there. Go dig over there. Look it. Look it. Okay. Do you wanna plant some sticks? Come here. Digging okay. okay, so big brother got her going. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to, now what, look at what I'm doing with my wrist. I'm flicking. Okay, you guys? Yeah. And that prevents holes being made. And I am going to water my corn in. Now this is a little harder to do when you are one-handed, but um, I'm just going to turn this around so I can get. These need to be moist, but they do not need to be drenched. Okay, and you want to do this quick so you are not um, making holes in your container. Now, to test this, this um, how wet it is getting, I want to put my finger down and I can feel the moisture right down at the bottom, so that's good. You, okay, and I can press it I, I, I can't squeeze out the water, so I'm still good, and, and that will do. Now, we're not quite done with this yet. We need to label, 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 label. Don't you ever think you're gonna remember what you planted in what pot? Because you won't, and if you have 30 of these, you're gonna forget. So what I want you to do is just put corn D. Corn dash D means corn dwarf. That's all we need to do. You don't need to write crazy amounts. Um, you can do shorthand. I like using painter's tape because painter's tape never leaves residue. It comes off, off very simply and I don't have to ever worry about it. Plus it's cheap, it's cost effective, it's easy to use. So what we do is just put it on here. So I'm gonna get you guys to water this one here. Yep. Did we do three of these now? Yeah, we did the other okay. one. It's not done though. Okay, so let's finish that up. 
So basically, we're going to just do the exact same thing we did to this one here. I'm going to just give them a helping hand and then we're going to plant um, some herbs, which is another different kind of process. Okay, so we are back here um, and we all we did, you guys, was fill these containers in front of my children with dirt. So just that, that inch, inch and a half dirt is in. That is it. Okay? So what we're going to do here is each one of them is going to have a different seed and I'm going to show you how to do that and that way I'll speed things up a little bit. So Ocean, what do you have? I have marjoram. Okay, open up one of those seed package. Now you'll notice that marjoram has a very, very ah. small seed. Pour it in. Ah. Oh, those are tiny. Ah. I don't know if I got them. Mm. Yeah, you would have. Okay, put that seed pack. So if you can see, they're very, very tiny. So, do you want to painstakingly do this one one at a time? No. No! Are you kidding me? That is not mom's way of doing things. <laughs> not at, at all. So basically what you want to do is pinch the seeds. Mm -hmm. And you kind of just want to cast it just like this. Now, just stay in rows kind of visualize rows, we'll thin it after, okay. no big deal, okay? Okay, so that's what she's doing over there. Nova, what do you have? I have tomatoes. Tomatoes, so this time I'm gonna teach you how to open this package. Hold, can you hold my, hold this steady on that side? Yeah, just hold it just right there, so I can just show you, okay? So what you wanna do is you go a little bit deeper when you rip, and then, and then your package will open a lot better, okay? Good job. Okay, so I want you to rip open that package. This goes for all types of tomatoes, you guys. It doesn't matter whether you're doing a cherry tomato, a Roma tomato, a beefsteak tomato. Planting tomatoes are the exact same way you do it, no matter what. I got them all. Now, her, her, she's got dirt here, which is awesome. Now, what you're going to do with tomatoes, they're a little bit easier. Now, sometimes it's easier if you're finger has a little bit of moisture on it because moisture you're planting the seeds it's no big deal so basically you want to take one seed at a time and you want to drop it just like that no you want to just kind of plant it like corn put it in and you can put them a little bit closer together I would say you want a half an inch but half an inch you can kind of put them in and so basically and if you get a few together it's not the end of the world basically you want to do that for your whole container okay. So jam pack this as much as you can. And it doesn't matter if they are very close. Basically, they're going to come up. They're going to live in this pot until I'm ready to go in the garden. Because like I said, I like keeping things simple. They go from here to the garden. Done. So yeah, I want you to do two of those ocean. Good. Okay. So um, Annika, because you're near meadow there, and I don't want her to take your stuff, I want you to come over here, please and be beside your sister on this side of the table. You are going to do peppers. Now we don't want to, we don't need tons of pepper. They're kind of a treat, especially since we don't got a greenhouse. Um, but we're going to do this multi-pack. So I want you to rip open the top. Just rip it, rip it. Awesome. And then I want you to pour it into that glass um, container right here. Okay. And there's not that many in there, is there? Okay, so we might have to do two varieties because some of those may not germinate. Uh, so what I want you to do, Annika, now Annika is um, six, and she can do this. So what you want to do is you want to take your seed and drop it there, and then what you want to do is grab another seed, and then you want to drop it about right there. And what I do with the young ones, I show them, you, you see that distance? But then when you want to make another row, you want to make another row right there. So you want a row here and a row here, but, but kind of that, um, eh, about a half an inch distance apart. You want to fill that container up, okay? So you work on that. So we got things working on. She's going to work on the, her pepper. So tell me when you two, um, Nova and Annika, when you two are done. Ocean, are you done? Yes. Okay. Now this 
this sweet margarine goes with a lot of herbs, okay? You want to just basically cast the herbs over because it is so... I could not do this by a tweezer drop one seed at a time. We will thin after and we got lots of margarine that needs to get planted. Okay, so what we want to do is, you see how small that seed was, Ocean? Yeah. The smaller the seed, the less the dirt you put on top. Because it won't have as much oomph to push up. That's right. So we need a thin layer. That's right. I don't have any more room for the rest of the seeds in here. Okay, get another container. Okay, so Nova's going to grab another container because she filled this one up. I don't know if you guys can see the seeds that she put in there. One there, one there, one there, there, there. Okay, so Ocean, get back to the herbs. So the smaller the seed, the less dirt you put on top of the plant because they don't got enough oomph to break through a deep um, amount of dirt on top. Yeah. So what that looks like is this. I'm going to show you with one. So you basically grab some dirt and you are basically just lightly casting. A lot of herbs actually need a little bit of light to germinate properly. And that is it, you guys. Oh, I don't, I think I got the camera in the wrong angle there. So let's do that again, Ocean. Show them with this container here. That's right, you are just literally just flicking the dirt over it very lightly. And that is it. Like you are just putting basically like an eighth, yeah, a little bit on this side, an eighth of an inch. Um, over it just very lightly now the other key thing you want to do here is just gently take your hand and just go over it real gently and there we go and the exact same thing you want to do here is you want to do that flicking mess mess method and you want to just just water it now herbs I just sprayed water on you yeah again <laughs> um, is going through this and you want that contact with the dirt and you want that water to kind of seal the deal in, okay? And basically, that is it. So label those ocean as, as um, marjoram and you are good to go there. Nova, mm -hmm. you need dirt. Yeah. So head over there to get some dirt. Annika, how are you doing? And you guys, me filming this is exactly what I do at home. This is nothing new. I am literally letting the kids do the planting and letting me step back and just teach. Just teach because they need to do it themselves. So you have a little extra there. So why don't you just stick some of those seeds right off to the side here. Stick them in in a couple places because we always know that. Do all the seeds germinate, you guys? No. Wow. No, all seeds don't always germinate. Okay, now if you're scared of a mess, you guys, take a look at this. Look at my floor. Oh my word. It's okay. It can all be cleaned up. Okay. So she's done here. And the same thing here. We are going to put about a half an inch now of dirt on top here. Yeah, put those in. Uh, pepper seeds is like, it's not a small seed. It's not a large seed. It's kind of a medium sized seed. And um, you you can just put, and, and it does have enough oomph to come up, so we want about a half an inch over. So Ocean, if you're done there, just add it with the corn, the, the finished pots, and fill a couple more containers up. Okay, so we need dirt on top of this, Annika. Bring the dirt over here. This is fun, but got me to pack mm -hmm. this before I put seeds in. Okay. Yeah, is it packed? Did you pack yeah. this new container? So yeah, start putting more tomato seeds in there. Okay, yeah. so what I want you to do, Annika, is I want you to grab some dirt like mom is, and then I want you to put them over and see if you see a stick like this, kind of throw it off. So what I want you to do is fill up this container. I'm ready. Are those new containers full of dirt already? Yeah. Holy man, you're they fast. They're already filled. Oh, you cheated. <laughs> Okay, so no, I don't want you pressing down. I want you to just make me a layer first. So go ahead, drop some dirt in there and, and get me a, a layer through there. So when you're done there, no, Annika, just wait. So just go, I'm done, Mom. 
Um, I want you to do one container of chamomile. Ooh. Now I only got one packet of chamomile lotion. So it needs to make the whole container. So you need to spread that exactly what you did with marjoram. Exactly what you did. Doesn't our seeds look like brown like marjoram? Um, well, let's, let's, let's find out. I know, but I don't want to spoil the surprise. The last time I planted chamomile was in my garden in town, and you were like only two years old, Ocean. Ooh, those are cool, elongated little green seeds. Yeah, see? Now, does that look, remind you of the tea that we drink? It does. I don't know. Okay, so I want you to cast that as evenly over one uh, container as possible. That's fine. We can tell the difference. Okay, so she's got this. So what I want you to do, you don't want to pound it in. You want more surface area with your hands, and you want to just go over like this over your seats. Okay, so you go do that, Annika. Good job. Nova, what I want you to do is the exact same thing as she's doing with the peppers. Mm -hmm. I want you to basically put about a half an inch of dirt over your containers. A little bit more than that. You, you, you don't have to be as careful as because these aren't herbs. Um, you need some dirt there. Any clumps break up. Anything like this here, we mm -hmm. toss out and uh, and get that on there. Like that? And yeah. I want me to lightly press it. Yeah, I want you to lightly press it. All right. Okay, so you can kind of see the scattering of seeds there. So we need a top layer on there, Same Ocean. As Same as marjoram. Because actually chamomile, just an eighth of an inch over, over those really fine herb seeds. So you're done here. We need to label. Where's my labeler? Um, right I'm holding it. So Grace, yeah? could you please label? We need just, we're only gonna do one yeah. kind of pepper. Um, okay. just, just put, um, peppers, because we're only doing one kind here. Alright. Okay? This here? Chamomile done. Chamomile done. So we need chamomile oh, too. No, we need it watered. Okay. So first we're going to water here, Annika. I'm going to do this for you. Okay? So again, we're doing this flicking motion. Can I water these? Yeah. Okay. And I'm not too concerned, you guys. I know I'm getting water on the floor a bit. Pepper. Whatever. Pepper. So, Nova, you. I want you to stand up. If you stand up, you have more control over your wrist. So, and we are going to do peppers here. So that is labeled. So with chamomile, Grace, yeah. just go chem chemo. Chemo. Okay. Just write the first, first, uh, first three. Cam. Cam. Yeah, you can do camo. Cam, cam, whatever. Okay, so we are going to add these to our finished containers over here. Okay, excellent. You're doing awesome. So we got tomatoes. We got, oh, see, what you want to do is not have that happen. Okay. Don't drill a hole. Get that flick in action because what you do is you if you get a hole, you push the seed too deep down and then and then they have a hard time popping up when they germinate. Just so I watered already. There you go. Okay, so you guys, we let's recap. We got some marjoram planted, we got we got chamomile, we got our tomatoes planted, we got some peppers planted. What else? I'm missing something. Corn planted. Um, tomato, pepper, we parsley. need a little bit of parsley. Can I plant some parsley? Mom, what was on me to write? Um, tomatoes. There, how's that, Mom? Tomato. Yeah, so did you got that label? Yes. Just wait, just wait. Yes, you can fill that one up, Attica. So yeah. last thing here on my list of today, which is seven to eight weeks ahead, is parsley. Yeah. I love parsley. Parsley is a very healthy herb medicinally and obviously very aromatic in your soups, stews, pasta, sauces, everything alike. Can I pop so it? no um yeah first show them the seed, open it up. Grace, we need yeah. one more tomato label. Oh okay. Okay. Can I have a and then we're going to show you guys how to, how? 
um, set up this here. It's not quite done with the, for, to set up for germination yet. Those are parsley seeds. Those are parsley seeds. Um, if you know what they, they look, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. They look like um, they're carrot seeds. Okay, a little bit bigger, but basically, again, I want you to cast over. Because these are still small to do in They the are. Thing. They are. So just cast them over. Try to evenly put them over the container and do basically ocean. Do that over two containers. Okay. That one there, okay? Like, yeah. Now the rest for another container? Exactly. Right. Is this container ready to go? Tomato. tomato. That one's tomatoes? Again, that light covering, right? So I'm just going to kind of stack these here. This is not where we're going to leave them. I'll show you in a second. So as these guys do parsley, you're doing parsley exactly like all of the herbs. We're going to take a break. I'm going to turn off the camera. We're going to finish the parsley plants. And then we're going to fi finish up the setup for the pots and get them ready in their final destination. Okay, we are down here in our basement where the incubators are and and um, it's not very light as you can see. The only real window we have is right over here. So it's not light, but this is perfect for germination. You don't have to get that picky. It's cooler down here, isn't it, Ocean? Yes. It is. Okay, there's a key thing here, you guys. In order for these seeds to germinate, they need to be warm. They need to be warm. They need to be watered and you need high humidity. Those three things. So we're going to mimic that in our basement really simply. And I think you know exactly what we're going to be doing. So warmth, we're doing heating pads. So what I do to speed up germination is heating pads. So what I want you to do, these are what we call in our house dog towels. So just kind of scoot them off to the side there, Ocean. Get rid of them. Basically, you're looking for old towels. Now, we've got about... Um, Four. How many pots up there? I should have counted. We got six, seven, probably about, about 10 to 12 pots, yeah, I think so containers that we planted. So what I want to do is I want to get these heating pads um, basically set up so it covers this whole area. Some pots, even if your pot is only half on a heating pad, it'll still warm the dirt. So I kind of want it, you know, we can leave a gap in between here. I kind of want it set up like that so I have four heating pads and these are the, the cheap kind you guys I'm not spending 50 bucks a heating pad these are like your $11.99 maybe 15 bucks at the most heating pads that that don't have any of the safety you know they make heating pads nowadays like oh you keep it on for a half an hour and it automatically shuts off those are the kinds you do not want you want the cheap kinds that if you leave them on they will stay on forever okay <laughs> that's the kind you want so I want you to ocean make sure that there's no cords on top so we got a flat surface we can plug underneath the table so we can have the containers on totally flat exactly now you're getting it and so what this does is that it heats the dirt it warms everything up and if you got warm dirt, this and now it, the seeds are in the dirt and the nice water, the only thing we need to do is increase humidity, and, and I'll show you that in a second. Is the warm dirt meant to mimic the sun? Yes, it's like, it's like the sun warming the dirt. Exactly. So that's what these are here to mimic? That's exactly it. And so it doesn't matter if you're in a cold room. I have germinated tricky seeds, cucumber seeds in three or four days in a room that was only 12 degrees Celsius. Very cool. But as long as the dirt is warm, that is key. So, Well, the seeds hold this down. Yeah, that, that's fine. Okay, so what I want to do is you don't want to ever put these directly over the pots. That's why I have the, the towels. So now what I want you to do is drape the towels over. And it's not good to get, you know, water, moisture on the heating pads. There. So I want you to do the next one. I want about two layers. Beautiful. Wonderful. Okay. So there's our very simple setup. I have done this, you guys, on a bed to germinate. I've done it on tables. I've done it on floors. I've done it um, wherever you can find a space. Be creative. Like I said... I don't got anything fancy. Nothing fancy here. 
we keep to the basics and um, you don't need to spend tons and tons and tons of money to start gardening. Okay, now what we need to do is get all the containers down here into the basement. So you guys, I'm not gonna film that because we need a little bit more hands on deck. I'm gonna help here. We're gonna bring all those containers down here and then I'll show you the very last and final step that is very critical to getting these germinated. So what we're doing is we have plugged in the heating pads and you can see the, the light right here that's glowing and, and it's on medium. If it's on high ocean, it would be up one more. Oh. So all the heating pads are on medium heat. So whether that is three or the word medium, usually they go up to five. So you want to put it on medium heat. So we got all our containers on here. Whoo, we just made it. Yeah. Just made it. Okay, so this is gonna heat up real nice. Now I said, I said you need moisture, you Humidity. need heat. And the last one is humidity. Now, I literally will not water them anymore now until they germinate. Now you're probably going, okay, but they're going to dry out. No, they're not. This is why. Ocean, hold that up. Hold the saran wrap or glad cling wrap or whatever you want to call it. This is going to be your best friend, okay, when it comes to starting seeds. So what we want to do here, because all these seeds are going to germinate at a different time. Parsley is going to take longer. March or May germinate before the tomato. So you can't just put it over all of these. That would be too simple, but it is not reality because they need to germinate at different times. So what I like to do is you take a piece out. Big enough to cover one. Big enough to cover one. This is how often we use saran wrap. We never really use saran wrap for covering anything, but we always use it for gardening. Okay, so what you wanna do is, we're gonna move this pot here. You wanna adjust it. Now, this stuff doesn't stick to my pots worth anything, as you can see. Did you wanna put that in? What you wanna do is get the painter's tape. It's not down here. Oh, go upstairs, get the painter's tape. Okay, we are armed with painter's tape. So what you want to do is put a little piece of painter's tape right here to hold it. And then you want to do it on the opposite side. So you want to kind of pull. kind of pull it taut and then put another piece here. And then, and then what you want to do sides. is put put another little piece on each side. And that'll hold the water and add to the practice. Okay, so so that's exactly it. So as you're doing that ocean, just start doing that with the other containers while yeah. I just talk for a second here. So let me go through why this is so critical. What happens is the moisture, just, just don't lose the pot off the table, okay? The moisture, or sorry, the heat from the heating pad is going to warm the dirt. The dirt is going to let off heat through evaporating or through through moisture evaporating out from the dirt, hitting the top of the plastic. So it's going to turn back into water droplets when it hits the plastic. Then from the plastic, it's going to drop back down into the dirt. So I'm not going to lose any moisture. But what it is going to do, it's going to skyrocket my humidity because I've got now a greenhouse effect going here and it's going to create an awesome growing condition right in this pot. Now, we watered all these pots with that Thieves solution, and that Thieves solution does two things. Prevents dampening off, and also prevents mold from growing in our pots because of this greenhouse effect. So, that is really key. So basically what we're going to do is we are going to do this to every single one of these and I do this to everything so if I've got like cucumbers depends on what you, what medium you're growing your cucumbers in if you're growing your cucumbers in all these separate little pots I will put plastic on all those pots now now if this was all the same I would do it all at once but everything I start I put plastic over um, and and some and even if I would like use eggshells to start put to plant in, you can use eggshells, you can use milk cartons, you can use literally look around any container. The same thing. I put plastic over it. 
And plastic is really good with herbs that, that need light to sew. Now our basement light is usually on. It's not the greatest, but it is some kind of light. So this is the key. Now the biggest thing here is to wait until germination. And once they start germinating, I will start filming. That's perfect ocean. Besides this here, I want you to make this plastic a little bigger or make sure, make sure you guys, there's nothing like sticking up like that. Pull it taut. If you got openings, just add another little piece of painter's tape there. Like here? Yeah, so you need to basically make this plastic a little bigger next time. Okay. Okay? Ah, my corner's full. Too. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So just make sure it actually goes over because it's critical that that we don't lose any of that heat when it, it, when it, when it um, germinates. So as soon as these germinate, I will film the third part. Um, to this series and it is a, another critical part but I'm not going to film while I'm waiting the four days um, to a week for these to get going so let's see here give a guess you guys maybe comment what do you think is going to germinate first out of all the seeds that we do we did the parsley and the marjoram and the chamomile and herbs we did the tomatoes and peppers help me out here ocean we did corn we did corn I think we did, um, what was that called, parsley? Yeah, we mentioned that. So out of all of those, what do you think germinates first? Cherry tomatoes. Out of everything. Okay, so comment. Again, ask me questions. Um, and I will try my best every, at least every second day to, to get on there and answer everyone's questions. All the links in order to connect with me are in the description box. And we will see you once these starts germinating.